Hi guys and Mystics, Old Video Production. Today I'm going to introduce you a new plugin from Safari Pedals. It's called Camel Strip and it's basically a channel strip. It's different than a normal channel strip, normal hardware channel strip, because normally in a channel strip you find preamps, compressor, an equalizer, maybe a limiter, but you don't find usually reverb while here you have also plate reverb and spring reverb because basically it's a plugin and we can do whatever we want. So let's find out together how I use this plugin, the only plugin I used to mix a song. Occhi aperti in mezzo al buio Dentro un letto di cemento E nella testa il nome tuo che grida, grida, grida L'orologio appeso al muro Segna mezzanotte intanto sta piovendo fuori e dentro me Prendo la mia giacca e corro via Lontano dal riflesso nello specchio che non vuole arrendersi Ma solo la notte è così E ti inseguo tra dolci illusioni di farti prendere non ti va, sei come l'ombra di Peter Pan perso per strada, sto rincorrendo una parte di me, sento un brivido sulla pelle, guardo le stelle che brillano, ridono di me, questa tempesta è più forte di me, e uno è una tentazione a cui non riesco a dire no ok so let's jump into studio one as you can see here, I have this very short project. Basically, I've done a really brief arrangement for this song. It's an old song from Jacopo Sicardi, which is basically the singer of this song. But I made this more jazzy style. It's not finished the song, only to, to show you how this plugin works. So you have listened at the beginning the full song. Basically, I recorded a bass, I've used MIDI drum, I recorded the vocal, all clean, so without any color of preamp, so all clean to my Orion Studio Synergy Core audio interface, and basically we have here the project. So I want to show you uh, bypassing all the plugins, so I can show you the plugin I've used here, basically I've used uh, camera strip, camera strip, camera strip, camera strip, camera strip, and not any other plugins, well basically I hear umpire because it's for the amplification for the bass and the guitar, but no any other plugin. This is the sound of the song of this brief uh, project with only this plugin. It's more jazzy. Now the vocal. Occhi aperti in mezzo al buio. Dentro un letto di cemento e nella testa il nome tuo che grida, grida, grida. L'orologio a pelle. Now, I want to show you bypassing here. This is the button to bypass basically every plugin. So, this is without this plugin. I, I want to also uh, leave the amplifier. This is with the camera stripe bypass. Cemento e nella testa. Yeah. L'orologio appeso al muro segna mezzano. So again. L'orologio appeso al muro segna mezzanotte e intanto sta piovendo fuori e dentro me. Prendo la mia giacca e corro via. Let me show you how it looks. So it's really, really basic. Normally in a channel strip, you have the input drive, which is basically a preamplifier, and this will color a lot. It's different than a normal hardware preamp 
because usually when you want to color the signal you have to go really really high with the level with the preamp but here just a bit of tweak and you can start to color and to overdrive the sound so it can be really creative if you want then you have the equalization section high mid and low and this will change the behavior depending if you choose the equalization pulter style uh, 73 style so nif style or ssl style will change completely the behavior and even if you leave the equalization at the noon you will listen that it start coloring and it's changing also uh, the sound so really really interesting then you have the gate which normally you don't have in a channel strip soft and hard the fx you have a plate and spring compressor here you have three types of compressor fairchild 2a which is optical compressor so is the la2a and the 1176 style of compressor completely different kind of compressors and also you will introduce some harmonics then you have the overall output and the oversampling the really cool thing is the blend knob which i really love and usually safari pedals use blend knob and i really like it and this is this is amazing the width with the width you can decide if you for example if you use reverb you can decide if you use more narrow sound so reverb only in the middle and usually when you use spring reverb you have basically a mono reverb but here since this is a plugin we can do whatever we want well with the width you can spray basically this spring reverb and you can listen a sort of stereo i want to show you briefly the behavior of the three different type of equalizer you have here so as you can see here i'm all at the noon with the pull tech style now it's all bypass and as you can see i have a straight line now let me engage the equalizer as you can see it's changing also with the equalizer all at the noon so as you can see we have a gentle cut on the low end let me now switch to the 1173 completely different behavior and the ssl is more linear as you can see here so now let's go again to the pull text style let's engage more low and this is basically the behavior of the pull text so you are pushing more the low frequencies but at the same time you are scooping a bit more the low mid frequencies this is a really key feature of the pull tech so as you can see this is the behavior so i'm not only pushing the low but at the same time i'm gently cutting also the low mids now let's instead increase the mid frequencies very normal behavior now the high frequencies okay now let me switch to the 1173 to the nif style let's engage more low end as you can see it's completely different the behavior now i have low end and the mids are pretty firm so there is no any movement of the mid frequencies and also cutting the low frequencies the mids pretty normal behavior and the high frequencies here basically as you can see the behavior is completely different it's basically the behavior of a back sandal equalizer as you can see a really really uh, large q factor so this is really cool behavior especially for mastering if you want to uh, use the equalizer for loudness behavior this is basically the behavior of a back sandal and let me switch now to the ssl let's move now the low frequencies pretty similar behavior to the 1173 mid frequency okay and now the high frequencies oh this is really interesting really large q factor but we have a cut basically in the uh, 20 kilohertz here as you can see so this is different compared to the 73 as you can see we have a super back sandal behavior and with the ssl we have this cut on the super edge but we have also this behavior of the scooped sound on the very low mid frequencies around 200 so let me go back with the high frequencies like a normal 
um, equalizer. But this is super interesting, the behavior here compared to the 1173, compared to the pull textile. Pull textile and the SSL are pretty similar, but the SSL is more is more uh, aggressive also in the uh, lower mid frequencies. So I can show you, for example, this spring that I used here, that is my guitar, my electric guitar. So this is soloing my electric guitar. This is how it sounds. Without the camera strip, it's more narrow. Wow. Basically, this plugin is uh, a Swiss knife. <laughs> it's amazing. It really brings up the sound. Uh, for example, for my, uh, my drum, which is here. So this is my drum. Let me show you. So without the camera strip, no any room, it's almost mono, really narrow sound with the camel. More clarity, I used pull textile, I've basically bumped more in a 3.8 dB, the low is consistent, and also cut just a bit of mids. So without equalization, it's finished also the drum. With the Q. And also the effects. So this is without the plate. With lovely. Really lovely. And also the compressor is basically working with the kick mainly. As you can see, it's very fast with the 76, but I blended this because otherwise I had too much pumping effect. And also the width is very, very large. So by passing the plugin, <laughs> with the plugin, I love it. I want to show you also how it used in the bass. Here I want to uh, basically be more creative because as you can listen, it's also started to cranking a bit. I've used very low input drive, but if I use more input drive, it's coloring a lot. So, no any effects. As you can see here, the equalization basically is what is doing everything. So, let me show you without the cue. With the cue. I will choose the SSL because I like it much more the bass in the SSL, for the bass, for example. So, let me show you the different style. The 73 is basically muddy because the bass is more toward the mids. So the, the bass, I mean the low knob is more towards uh, the mids frequencies. Yes, I like much more the SSL in this case. And also the clarity that you can listen here. The PureTech is is more focused on the mids. I prefer much more. That's it. So it's a really cool plugin, really easy to use, and basically in one plugin you have pull textile, Neve style, and SSL style equalizer. And for the compressor you have Fairchild style, uh, Opto style LA2A, and the Neve 76. And with other things, so for example with the plate, spring, the gate, so it's really a Swiss knife. Let me show you now on the voice, because here is 
where the plugin shines. Occhi aperti in mezzo al buio, dentro un letto di cemento e nella testa. Before? Il nome tuo che grida, grida, grida. <laughs> L'orologio appeso al muro, segna mezzanotte intanto, sta piovendo fuori e dentro. So as you can see here, I don't want to use the input drive because it's very sensitive. Prendo la mia giacca e corro via, lontano dal riflesso nello specchio che non vuole arrest. So I don't want to use the input drive. And I use basically equalization. I choose here the Pultec because it's, it's smoother, my opinion, for vocals. And also the plate I've used for, for the reverb. Lots of width because I wanted the plate really, really in stereo. And all blend because I use basically all the plugin to mix. Compressor, I use the Fairchild because it's smoother. As you can see also the, the movement. E ti inseguo tra dolci illusioni Ti farti prendere My non past. ti va <laughs> Sei come l'ombra di Peter Pan perso per strada All together Sto rincorrendo una parte di me Sento un brivido My sulla past. pelle Guardo le stelle Come Brillano, stay. ridono di me Questa tempesta è più forte è un'ossessione, una tentazione a cui non riesco a dire no. Ok, guys, so this is the Camel Strip. Really, really cool plugin, really easy to use and full of features. You can really be creative if you want, if you want to use the input drive that is very, very sensitive. So if you have already loud track, Basically, the input drive will start to overdrive more. So pay attention to this. And of course, with spring plates, super versatile, super versatile for the equalization and for the compressor, guys. You have the link in the description. If you want to try out, you can try out it for free from Safari Pedals. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.